Hello, it's me again. Today, we're going to talk about photography. Now, I am into photography. Digital photography, and of course using my handy dandy Pintex K1000! I'm into black and white photography, and of course, classic film picture photography. I'm going to ex ex share my high school experience of photography. It was difficult, but I loved every minute of it. And for everyone who doesn't know exactly what the hell I'm talking about, I'll just show you some of my examples of what I did. I was into black and white photography, and for one of my uh, things I did was I made a calendar out of pictures. Which is kind of cool, because it worked really well. And I learned the different types of photo paper, which would be glossy, which has a nice shine to it, versus pearl paper. It has very little shine to it, and I like pearl paper over gloss, but for me gloss was just the way to go at the time. I'm like, yeah, we're going with gloss. All pictures nowadays come out glossy if you go to Rite Aid or whatever. But anyway. So I'm going to just show you some of the work I've done. Back in high school and what I've done so far. Right, so this one is of a... Uh, just a board with some flowers. And what I did was I actually laminated a calendar and just put this as an overlay over the image. And then, as the photo was developing, I used the um, enlarger, effectively, and enlarged this onto the actual calendar and then created it. So that's how I got the calendar and all the perfect lines and stuff on it. It was really cool. But anyway, that's one. This one I like one of the most just because of just of how simple this one was to do. I do have some damage on just from cardboard and others sticking on here. But yeah, yeah. Kodak professional paper. Yeah, of course. Um, black triangle. Just put it up here and the flashlight in the corner. Light to dark. That's clawing out the door. Kitty! Excuse me, line. Kick its ass? Yeah, you know you're in trouble. Sorry about that rude interruption. Where was I? Oh, yes. Here's another example. Um, as you can tell on the pearl paper here, it looks like a moon rock. That's because I actually a little bit overexposed it a little and um, had to redo it, but yeah. I mean, from distance, you think this was from outer space. And of course, once I redid it and calibrated the colors, it looks much better now. I did that. Here's one of a duck. Um, close up of macro grass early in the morning with the dew still on it. A flower, and if you notice, it looks really cool off in the distance. Like, hey, it's a nice flower. But up close, it's. I don't know, it, to me it's kind of blurry and, and I don't know. this one I like the most as well. It's just a faucet with water. I love the water part, that's awesome. That's one of the things I did. This was a long time ago, this is going to be difficult for me to show. It's just party lights. Because I used to have like a disco ball, a police light, and one of those star ball things. Yeah, I just had those going, I just took a photo of that, because at the time I thought, yeah, I'm cool. Um, what else do I got here? Drum set? Oh, shit. I don't know. At the time, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I liked it. So those are some of my earlier works. And I actually made an entire calendar out of it. Um... So now I'm going to show you the key. Get off my paperwork, stupid. Get off the paperwork. 
You silly kitty. Get in trouble again, Gordon. Show you more of my black and white stuff. And a black and white binder. Now this may be several parts, just FYI. So this may be part one or two or something of the sort. So. never can figure out which way I'm doing this. I think I put all these in upside down, of course, so yeah, whatever. I'll have to show you backwards here. Right, tell you what, I'll just make this part one of my photography. 